Another gorgeous day here on Long Island. Sunshine and 82 degrees. Walk 97.5. Hi, it's Rick Martini. And we're giving you a chance right now, along with the Travel Channel, to make you a star. I'm looking for the ninth caller right now at 955-9750. Just tell me your favorite secret place on Long Island. They say when traveling, go where the locals go. So we reached out to the local listeners of WALK 97.5 and ask them where they go on Long Island. W-A-L-K, hi, you're number nine. My favorite place on Long Island is the Montauk Lighthouse and Museum because not only are the views spectacular from the top of the lighthouse, but it's a great piece of Long Island history. It was chartered by the first president of the United States, George Washington, and it's the oldest lighthouse in New York State. I'd have to say it would be at the wine vineyards at the, on the east end of Long Island. We like to go out east by the... Um, farmlands and the vineyards. We also like to go to the beaches. That's really nice out there. It's just beautiful scenery that the Long Island has offered so much that people don't know it's out there. Well, we have the secret place that we go to with our kids on the North Shore. It's called the Target Rock Nature Preserve, and you walk through the forest. There are cedar trees and fir trees and pine trees and lots of flowering shrubs. My most favorite one is in Southampton, um, the Shinnecock Inlet over there. You have available to you not just just the inlet, which is fed from the ocean, but the bay as well. Of all the tips and beautiful places, one was chosen to become our next story. My name is John Dertinger. I'm from Babylon, Long Island. The beaches. The beaches on Long Island are the finest. Jones Beach, which is world famous. It's a vacation for people that live five minutes from there. and It's, it's a tremendous vacation for anybody who travels from far distances. But everybody should go down to Jones Beach. At the turn of the century, Long Island's barrier beaches were only reachable by boat. In the 1920s, a road was built, connecting the mainland to a narrow strip of beach. At the end of the road, Jones Beach, one of the largest public beaches in the world. The whole thing was the brainchild of New York planner Robert Moses. Robert Moses was more than a great innovator. He was a visionary. He found this very narrow spit of land, a barrier beach that really had no access. He said there's six and a half miles of beachfront. The public will have access. And indeed, today, we are still the largest public bathing facility in the world. And to this day, we still see approximately seven million visitors a year. That's more than Yellowstone and Yosemite combined on an annual basis. The Jones Beach Boardwalk is two miles long and built to resemble a ship's deck, complete with mast. One of the unique characteristics of Jones Beach is a water tower, but you'd never know it was a water tower. This is a magnificent historic tower that Robert Moses modeled after the Campanilla Bell Tower from St. Mark's Cathedral in Venice. The tower is not only beautiful, but functional. It holds 315,000 gallons of water, all the drinking water the park needs for its 7 million visitors. Even today on the beach, there are other details from the past. To this day, we have wonderful lifeguard wooden chairs, similar to the days of 1929. Sitting in one of those chairs is a living legend. A man whose career as a lifeguard almost spans the life of the park, Reggie Jones. This is my 60th year. This is... Seem like a world apart because it actually is.